All right, we are back with the Aston Villa career mode. Now, if you have not seen the last episode, you need to go watch it. It was one of the best Champions League leg, two-legged knockout stage legs that I have ever played. I think the best, one of the best on this channel for sure. Spoilers incoming, three, two, one. We knocked out PSG in the Champions League quarters, coming back from a 1-3 deficit in the first leg. We just shocked the, the team that looked like the favorites to win the Champions League. And now we face Atletico Madrid in the semifinals, Barcelona Inter on the other side. We're going to play at the very least the first leg versus Atletico Madrid in this episode. And we are also in a title race in the Premier League too, where we're four points off Chelsea with a game in hand. But we do face Liverpool, Arsenal and Spurs to end the season out of our last seven games. So this is shaping up to be a very interesting end to season three so once again drop a like if you are enjoying the series it lets me know you guys want to see more of it and also sub the channel down below if you are not of course we're chasing 50,000 subs and we get closer and closer to that every single day but before we get into this episode's press conference there's one player that i think deserves some recognition in this team and that's maddie cash he has been one of the best right backs i've used this year in fifa he has been so good whether it is premier league wingers champions league wingers he has defended so so well in this series he had neymar in his pocket in that champions league uh, tie against psg like absolutely in his pocket. Do you know what Matty Cash also has in his pocket? He also has the Exter Smart Wallet, which is of course the world's largest smart wallet brand and the sponsors of this video. Now, Exter's wallet product line is the next generation in wallets. It is made with premium leather and it's also got a new way to store your credit cards with the new modern quick card access. With just one click on the wallet, you'll have all your cards right at your fingertips. It's ultra thin, way thinner than the traditional bulkier wallet, and it also has RFID protection so your money, your identity, and your cards are safe. So Premium quality, quick card access, your modern way of accessing your credit cards. And you can also buy a tracker from them where you store it in the wallet. It's about the size of a credit card. And then you can download their app where if you ever lose your wallet, you go on the app and that tracker will show you where your wallet is. So gone are the days of losing your wallet because no one, no one enjoys that. And that tracker is solar powered, so you don't have to worry about charging it either. The extra wallet is it's just the modern next generation wallet so if you want to join the next generation of wallets then in the description you can click my affiliate link where if you purchase a extra wallet not only are you getting a premium wallet a next generation wallet you're also helping me out and helping out the channel a lot so link is in the description thanks to extra for sponsoring this video and let's let's get back to it all right possibly sign uh manuel dennis as a backup striker next season of course possibly around 80 to 81 rating yeah so suarez is retiring of course so we're probably going to need a new striker next season or delap would be the backup to tammy which a lot of you guys think Tammy also is uh, is not good enough to be the starter. I like the idea of signing Emmanuel Dennis though. Like he's got really good stats and he wouldn't be that expensive. So definitely on the short list. And then another player on that short list is Julian Alvarez. Would be a great backup to Tammy. His class can play on the wing and has 87 potential. This man's already 86 rated three seasons in. I don't know if he's just got like a potential boost, but he's already 86 rated, which is pretty crazy. I mean, he's got great pace, great finishing. He would be a beast. He would he would probably challenge, maybe overtake Tammy for that starting spot. Once again, another player on the short Short list for season four and the last one scout for regions as your three seasons in you'll probably find the suarez replacement there yeah i see a lot of comments about suarez as regen next season we're gonna we're gonna try to look for him and we'll probably look for regens probably in season four although i do like the main players of the series having real faces i do like that of course regens do not have real faces so they're gonna have to be pretty amazing to be a part of this team so we'll, we'll look for them in season four but something to keep in mind also today on the second channel we are uploading part three of our spider-man miles morales playthrough so if that sounds like something you might be interested in the link will be in the description okay so game in hand on, on Chelsea we got Southampton next we got Southampton Spurs Arsenal then two days of rest then first leg let it go Madrid that's just that's just a tough schedule so we're gonna sim Southampton and Burnley and then play Spurs probably play Arsenal with a rotated team and then play Atletico Madrid with the first team. That's the plan. Even in this Southampton game, we have to rotate. So Wea at Abraham, Damsgaard, Whitehouse, Ramsey, Timber, Dinier, Mings, Conza, and Hoover. So no Coutinho, no Bailey, but Southampton, they're in 16th. And this is at home. This is a game I would hope for us to be able to win. I am hoping. I am hoping. And it's a one to win courtesy of Jordan Whitehouse. Scoring the winner against PSG now scores the winner against Southampton. He's having a very good end of the season. He might start versus Letico Madrid. He might. So now we're two points off Chelsea with another game in hand where if we can beat Spurs, we would jump into first place. That That is just absolutely crazy. All right. So against Spurs, we're going with Whitehouse on the left wing, Suarez, Bailey, Coutinho, Ramsey, Douglas Luiz, Timber at left back, Vardy all at center back, and then Konza and Matty Cash. So most of these players will not play against uh, against Arsenal. Probably Suarez, Timber, Vardy all will. But if we can beat Spurs here, we would jump into first place, albeit probably temporarily. Champions League semis and in a Premier League title race. That is just madness. You like Spurs are a team, though, that all, we beat them 1-0, I think, last time we faced them. They're always a team that gives us problems, though. Like, they're always close games. We'll see if this is any different. This is a very big episode. These, this Spurs and Arsenal game will probably determine whether we are actually title challengers this season or not, because 
If we drop points, it's going to be very, very tough to even get back in the title race in these two games. Okay, Matty Cash, can you get a better cross this time? That's a much better cross. That's a much better cross. Oh, goes the White House. White House shot. Bailey finesse shot. And first goal of the game, just like that seven minutes in. The balances there were a bit fortunate, but Bailey scores the first goal. I mean, they have trouble getting the ball out. Whitehouse takes a shot. It's it's deflected right on Bailey's left foot into the back of the net. I mean, can't can't get a start much better than that. All right, Philip. Philip gets it to Leon Bailey. Suarez. Look at Suarez's pace. Are you sprinting, Suarez? I can't even tell. Ball in to Jordan Whitehouse. What a shot, Lloris. That's an even better save. Ramsey. Ramsey, can I win that? What a shot from White House. We feel like we are on one in this game. That that win against PSG, I was going to say, has given, up, given us a lot of confidence. Not with that touch, though. Haley Suarez is making his run. Luis Suarez, final season playing, and he can't get the shot away. Yeah, his pace is has dropped like significantly. He feels like an absolute snail on the ball. I mean, he's got good finishing still, though. That's the one thing. Like, let's get the ball to him. Okay, that goes to Ramsey instead. That was a foul right there. How was that not a foul? Coutinho. Timber continues his run. In. Oh, no. Who's injured? Is that White House? No. Who is that? Who's injured? Oh, it's Ramsey. Ramsey's. He's down. He's down. He's hurting. Oh, Jacob Ramsey. No. This is not what we need in this game, man. man he does not look that good. Okay. Loft his cheek for Ramsey. Hopefully. He might be out for the season, man. Oh, that's a tumble. He did a flip. Yeah, that 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 did not look very good. I mean, it's a good thing we got off this cheek and James Wood Prowse as backup, uh, midfield backup. But man, that did not look like a good injury at all. He scored against PSG. He scored the the first goal in the comeback, I think. So that if we actually do, if he's out for the rest of the season, that's gonna be a huge miss. Okay, Spurs are like having trouble getting this ball out of the out of the back even. Now we just need to try and punish them for Loftus Cheek on for Jacob Ramsey takes a shot. It's a decent shot. Lloris makes another save though. All right, Suarez. Suarez is back in that player, so he should. Okay, that doesn't even go there. That's a good header though. That's a good corner. Oh, that's that was our chance to score the first corner of the whole entire series, I think. And it was a good header. It's just cleared off the line. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Sun is in, and we went for the slide tackle. It's gonna go to Kane, and somehow. They did not score that. And I am completely shocked. But we escaped that without conceding. Okay, Matty Cash is just finding a lot of room here on this left wing. Good ball in. And Coutinho scores a header. Of course, it's the smallest man on the field. But he's going to head the ball in. We're 2-0 up on Tottenham. Yeah, so far, I mean, things have changed. The CPU changes from half to half. But they have not been that good in this first half, I got to say. This has been like semi-cruising. We're 2-0 up in the 43rd minute. And we can maybe get one more loft his cheek. Good ball to Coutinho. He's not going to be able to control it, though. And that is the first half. Suarez gets it to White House. White House is a decent first touch. Decent, but not really not really that good, actually. Yeah, I spoke a little bit too soon. Man, Timber, Timber's playing left back. He's right-footed, but he's got five-star weak foot. He's actually having, like, a really good game at left back. I think he's just one of those players that can literally play anywhere in the field, at least in the from CDM to the defense. Bailey gets it to Matty Cash once again. Matty Cash goes to White House. He made a good run, but can't get his can't get his head to it. Okay, this is where Spurs are dangerous with Kane and Son. Oh, that's not a good clearance by me, Konza. He's too strong, though. He just ripped that ball back off his cheek. We need a good ball to White House. That's a very good ball. It's a very good ball to White House. White House isn't cut inside. He's going to cut inside. Take a long shot, White House. That's that's the finishing we need to see from White House. That was a good shot. All right, Bailey. I feel like we haven't, we haven't done the short corner of this game yet. Actually, we're going to go to... Douglas Louise, and that shots me right at Lloris. I mean, yeah, 60, 66 minutes in. They have not really posed that much of a threat. And we look like getting even more. Suarez just controlled that so well. White House to Coutinho. Get it to Bailey. How do we not get that to Bailey a little bit quicker? That could have been an easy chance there. All right, Diallo for Bailey, and then Weya for White House to finish this last game. Or not the last game, last 20 minutes of the game. And this has been comfortable, especially if we can get one more. Coutinho, good shot. Loris, he's only going to get that out so far. And Wea has room for the shot, and it's going to be blocked. Man, that was another good chance. Loftus Cheek plays it out off uh, Diego Carlos. What a great play by Loftus Cheek. Corner in. I feel like we're going to score from a corner soon. I feel like it's, it's going to happen. I feel it, but not there, though. Kane is going to get it too. Oh, what a save. What a save by Martinez. Martinez has been much better like towards the end of the season. And there's not much time left for us to enter first place by winning this game 12 minutes away from it, which is just absolutely, oh, look at Diallo's pace. Diallo, oh, he, oh, it's just pure pace. Look at Suarez's pace. Look at Suarez's pace. He's gonna get a goal though. Diallo, 
plays it to Suarez and Villa are going to be entering first place in the Prem once again. Spurs have been terrible in this game. Like, I feel like every time we face them, they've been good, but not this game. Suarez has no pace, the man's 37 going on 38, but he's still scoring goals in the Premier League. Diallo just wants to run and run and run. Okay, I want to get Diallo a goal, but might be smart to just play this to way uh, yup it's smart how did way not finish that suarez suarez oh he went for the bicycle kick that should have been on target he had so much room for it oh that's okay maybe it was deflected actually maybe it was deflected off his foot i don't know how did way not finish that and that almost turned into what could be one of the best goals i've ever scored okay they're they just they are horrible at the back right now they're trying to get a goal here to like salvage something but it's not gonna work this is over bud oh no oh no am i gonna eat my words i'm gonna eat my words i'm gonna eat my words they're gonna get one back i hate this game 3-1 brian hill scores but that is enough to get 50 points and we are back in first place i believe with the one point lead though but for us to be in first place this point in the season this is this is crazy there it is villain first place but also player injured ramsey injury worries fans is jacob ramsey out for the rest of this season seven months ramsey is out i mean that's that's probably the worst injury possible in the game i think is there an injury worse or longer than seven months in this game seven months that's like into next season into season four he won't be back till january of season four ramsey will not be back until then that that is the worst injury we could have got for the player that was supposed to be like the main focus of the series that is that is such a long time to be out that honestly sucks that absolutely just sucks so ward prowse is into the starting 11 for now man like there's there's not a worse injury than that that is horrible talk about an absolute absolute buzz kill but all right the only thing we do is look forward so ramsey we're, we're gonna be without him for the end of this season and half of next season so we sit in first place one point lead though over chelsea and one point lead over liverpool so we're we, we lose a game we're down to third it's it's that close more importantly we're seven points off of a fifth that's what i'm more more worried about we face arsenal next who gave us probably our worst defeat of the season earlier they beat us 4-1 so we're gonna play this with a rotated team too because we have uh letico madrid in two days so this is a game that uh that might be a little bit tough all right arsenal at villa park so uh pretty much this whole team is players that are not playing against uh, Letico Madrid other than Konza, Digne, and Whitehouse, I think. I think I'm going to start Whitehouse in that Letico Madrid first leg, so he's going to play probably the first half of this game. But Waya, Suarez, Damsgaard, Whitehouse, Loftus, Cheek, Timber, Digne, Vardial, Konza, and Hoover. Last time we faced Arsenal, we got we got absolutely trashed, so we, we will see how this goes. And I'm sad about that Ramsey injury, though. Like, that's January next season feels so far away. That just sucks like that might change our plans for season four at least the the transfer strategy but we got arsenal we got a chance to keep our our first spot in the league and also get revenge on them for beating us so badly last time we faced them so there's a lot of chances for some good points here and that's gonna go as far as two jordan whitehouse we are playing like incredible right now we're scoring goals like the offense the defense everything is clicking right now it's just way up to suarez to whitehouse makes the run from cam and that is the finishing from whitehouse that we've been dying for this whole series like that is a good finish six minutes in we are we are one nil up okay they might tie this up immediately oh that was offside right martin has made a good save but it was offside okay that was that was decent from arsenal it's a little bit decent all up to luis suarez two very big starts in the most important premier league games of the season oh that was almost gonna be a good ball to to way up okay, whitehouse with some space they're giving him some space we're gonna go back to timber suarez two jordan whitehouse almost combine again for a goal and that's gonna be a good ball to damsgaard and damsgaard puts it over the net kind of crazy liverpool are tied with chelsea now and we face liverpool like the second to last game of the season that could be the title decider there like that late because we were talking about chelsea being the the other challenger but liverpool are actually tied now and that was a good cross but and yeah, that could be a very big game in the uh, potential season finale we are kind of all over arsenal right here a little bit and okay, that's good ball to timber a great ball suarez might be in if we could feed him and it was just closed down very well there suarez good ball to way up and the attack just feels so good in this episode it just feels so deadly and away almost scores leno good save okay, white house someone's making a good run it's timber timber never looks like he's gonna score from that spot he's just always there on short corners though that's gonna be a ball to loft his cheek get it to white house 
into Suarez. Okay, that was not a great, not a great pass. White House is gonna find Digne. We find a cross to Wea. Hey, we do not look that uh, that good on crosses. And the refs in the ball the whistle there. We had a chance there, ref. All right, but Arsenal, not really that threatening. But second half, this is only a 1-0 game, though. The the rotated team has done very well so far. I'd have to say that. Damsgaard will keep that in. Does he have the pace to get by all these players? I think he does. Damsgaard does, but Leno is going to make another save. All right, corner for Arsenal and Martinez. Oh, okay, calm down, guys. We don't want any more injuries. Calm down. You don't have to take out your own keeper. Just relax. I don't want to see another seven month injury. That'd be nice. This game has turned into kind of a snail pace game a little bit. Like, it's not many chances. Arsenal are playing very weird. Definitely not like when we faced them last. There's a lot of chances for a cross. Why wouldn't the why wouldn't the game give me White House there? Like that is totally White House's ball there. I'm gonna go to Wea though. Wea. Two loftus cheek. Decent, decent attempt. But okay, this is not over. This is not over. Suarez, that's blocked. Off to cheek. Are you on side? Okay, where is the ball even? This is just that's madness. Absolute chaos, and we still have this ball. Wea to Suarez. Suarez. He can't even turn. The man is so old. He can't turn. Okay, White House kind of forgot to take you off, but you are the one man getting things done right now. And Jordan White House. Leno, what a save. It's not a bad shot. It's really not, but Leno is just equal to it all right dams guard at cam and then diallo on for for white house because all the rest of the players on the bench are playing against Atletico madrid so i'm not going to sub any of them on suarez you will score a corner for us oh yes you will yes oh we've been so close to scoring from a corner we're doing it again suarez do it again you will be the one that deliver us his goal delivers a goal from the corner not there though that's too close to leno is it ever going to happen so chelsea play arsenal that's gonna be a tough game for them to not drop points in we got 15 minutes 15 minutes still holding a one goal lead suarez oh suarez gotta get out the way uh, where was the power on that that's probably down to uh stamina okay odegaard oh oh what is all this space Digne, what a block oh martinez please i need you to clear that oh my Digne, what a block that could be like a premier league trophy winning block there oh now way is free Way is free. They almost just tied this up. Diallo, I see you, Diallo. Diallo gives. That was supposed to go to Damsgard. You're you're joking with me. You're joking me. That was supposed to go to Damsgard. Why would he? Why would he drag it back to whoever he dragged it back to? That is what I get for trying to be sweaty. But man, we might get another chance here. Damsgard. Okay, Diallo. This time you're taking it. Diallo. Diallo. Puts it wide. On his stronger left foot, and he does put it a little bit wide. Oh, he kind of, he kind of scuffed that a little bit, man. All right, we got, we got. Okay, this one, that might be game over though. There might not be enough time. At the very least, that wasted time, and that should be full time, and it is. So, two of the three most important games left in the Premier League, Arsenal and Spurs. We win both in this episode. Honestly, Arsenal and Spurs are both not very good. Oh my, and Chelsea, Chelsea lost their last game. Who did they lose to? They, no, they drew with Brighton. They drew with Brighton. And we have a three point lead over them. If Liverpool, if they beat uh, Man City, they play Man City next. Oh my Lord. We have a chance to have like a, a three point lead at least in first with four games left. If Liverpool beat Man City though, which honestly looking at the table, they should then we'll be one point above them and we face them now i did see that game got rescheduled so we have burnley next away and then okay, it only got rescheduled to the middle middle of the week i guess this game right here at anfield could be the the title decider but we got atletico madrid next so they got joao felix zapata from atalanta i think komen uh callum chambers oh yeah we sold callum chambers to atletico madrid He's starting against us. He's really starting in the midfield against us. I think he's meant to play center back. And then I think that's Renato Sanchez, that center back that's supposed to be in the midfield. I don't know. It's FIFA. Kandogbia, DePaul, Llorente at right mid, Gonzalez, Jimenez, and Sanchez. Who is Gonzalez? I wonder who that is. But they have Oblak, though. We just face keepers after keepers that are so good. So White House gets the start at left wing after scoring the winner against PSG. James Ward Prowse comes in for the injured Jacob Ramsey. I can't believe that we're even in the semifinals like we are the absolute underdogs probably the best story in this current save this year of uh of football these small underdogs aston villa in the champions league semis it's unbelievable so callum chambers returning to villa park that is a very weird one weird one yeah that is renato sanchez who is gonzalez though i wonder who that is yeah so callum chambers in the midfield and then renato sanchez at center back and then fran gonzalez 68 at center back i mean this team this team is like 
they actually don't look that good. I gotta say, they do not look that good. John Felix on 91, he looks good. All right, Champions League semis, first leg. Second leg will be saved for the next episode. So we need to try and have a good start, but man, for us to be here is so insane. For some reason, that, that three of the back formation, I feel like might be a problem. Their team does not look that good, but they got Yerente, Felix, that, uh, players that are absolute danger, man. Okay, 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 okay. That's a great start, and that's a great save by Martinez. That's a very good start. Okay, we need to calm down this a little bit. I guess their team isn't that bad. I'm just comparing it to the PSG team we faced, and man, that's a mistake I make so often. I leave the guy open, Zhao Felix plays it to Zapata and he puts it in. I make this mistake so often dragging the center back to the guy with the ball and leaving the next guy completely open just like that. I, I make that mistake so often defending. And just like that, that is how Letico Madrid score the first goal in this game in the 10th minute. Not a good start. Very much like the PSG uh, first leg. Okay, they're passing around us very easily right now. Zapata scored the first goal. They get it back to Yurente and he is just... Trying to find some room, and there is the room. There is the room. Mings makes a good tackle, though. Man, Mings has been really good to end the season. He hears all the slander in the comments. He hears it. Okay, that was not a good ball. Man, they're they're swarming us right now. I didn't expect Letico Madrid to be this good, but they're all over us. DePaul, oh, Mings. Mings, another good challenge. Mings, oh, James Will Prowse, not a good touch. Okay, we need to settle this down. We need to get back in this game. We need to actually have a chance. Coutinho to Tammy. Great ball to Tammy Abraham. It's a very tough angle. We're not though Sanchez is playing center back and he's doing a great job. What is that tackle? I mean, I guess he has he has some defensive capability, so it's not like a striker playing center back, but oh my, what a good challenge from Renato Sanchez. Bro, they are they are killing us right now with this passing. That's gonna be in a job, Felix. And it's gonna be 2-0 to Atletico Madrid. They're they're destroying us passing right now. Their passing is so crisp, it's like boom, 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 and then they find Jao Felix. It's also bad defending, but okay. This feels just like the PSG first leg, like exactly the same. 30 minutes in, we're already down 2-0. The good thing about that is that we know we can come back. We know we've done it before. We literally just did it. We know we can do it. We just need to get, need, we need to get a goal here. We need to get a shot because we are barely getting any shots away. Lucas Luis, get that to James or Prowse. To Tammy, Tammy going to run. Go to Coutinho, to Tammy. It's going to be blocked by, uh, I think that was their Gonzalez guy. It's going to be a goal kick, too. I mean, it's a bit better, though. It's all we can say. Coutinho. Coutinho, wait for Bailey. Wait for Bailey. Good ball to Bailey. Going to find James Ward-Prowse. I wanted that to go to Tammy. It was still a good shot, but a much tougher shot than what we had intended. And now James Ward-Prowse is injured as well. Off a, He went for a challenge on a, on a loose ball, and he is injured now. And that's two midfielders down if he's actually out. Hopefully, he can run it off. Coutinho. Coutinho, good first touch. Tammy. Tammy needs to be a good finish and Tammy Abraham. That is a very, very good finish. Don't kick the ball. Grab it. Okay, he doesn't want to grab it. Okay, 2-1. This is just like the PSG first leg. Like, didn't they score two and then we scored one in the first half to get one back? I'm pretty sure this is exactly what happened. But this time it is Tammy getting the goal. A very good finish. Okay, is James Ward Prowse injured? Okay, I think he ran it off. I think he's fine. It's very good. And that is the the first half. 2-1. This is, uh, we're back in this. this is very tense moments at Villa Park for Aston Villa. Coutinho, good ball to Leon Bailey. Get it back to Matty Cash. James are prowess. There's a lot of room there for you. There's a lot of room. That sets up pretty kindly, and Old Black is going to make the save, though. All right, short corner to Coutinho. Going to wait, going to wait. Mings, Tyrone Mings. Tyrone Mings almost just scored. Tammy, lofting this up to you. That's actually not bad. That's actually not bad, but Old Black comes all the way out for it, though. A good steal by Ward Prowse. Coutinho. Coutinho, can we play it up to Tammy? Of course, it's Renato Sanchez. He's got pace. Look at him defending. The man looks like a natural center back. Oh, and Yudente keeps that in. How disgustingly good is that? That makes me sick to my stomach. Okay, Bailey, once again, a good steal. Tammy, get it to James Ward Prowse. Bailey was making a good run. He's offside, but now he's onside. Bailey to tie. This game up and all black makes another save. I'm so sick of these keepers making so many saves. Uh, Chambers is off. I don't know for who. He's on for he's off for Saul. Coutinho. Coutinho. That is White House. That's gonna be a good chance. Oh, White House jumps over Jimenez. Basically just cleated his face. And we got we got some momentum here though. We gotta capitalize and score off it though. Coutinho. Oh, just, that was a good challenge. That was a very good challenge by I believe Kondogbia. All right, Kingsley Komen. He's gonna he's just gonna play that out. Man, why did the CPU do that? I feel like since the last update to FIFA, 
The uh, the CPU does that way more often than they, than they should. I don't know though. Ball to White House. Coutinho might be in. Coutinho. Coutinho is in. Coutinho. I should have played it to White House. For some reason, I saw it so late. For some reason, I saw that so incredibly late. We could have maybe sweat that, but I think it was a good shot in the end. Just Old Black. Yeah, it was a good shot. It was on target. Just Old Black makes the save. Okay, do we make subs? No, I don't think I don't think I make subs yet. I feel like we got the momentum. This equalizer is close. It's gonna be too close to All Black again. I feel like if you if you if you send the corner too far out, it just never goes in. You, you need it to be like a perfect range. And it's just sometimes keeper comes out for it, sometimes it don't. Okay, Coman again. Coman again. Konza. Goes to Zhao Felix. We miss a tackle. And oh my, look who it is who just scored against us. I completely forgot that did we sell him to Atletico Madrid? I don't remember if we did. But oh my, it's Ollie Watkins scoring the third goal. We almost blocked that pass. James Wood Prowse almost blocked it. And damn, Ollie Watkins scores Atletico Madrid's third. This is literally the same exact game as the PSG first leg. Um, Dam's guard for, for White House. That'd be the only change. Okay, same mentality. If we get one here. And this is 3-2 going into the second leg. I'll take that. We know we can come back from 3-1, but man, 3-2 would be so much easier. I can't believe Ollie Watkins is the one to score against this, though. First, it was Chambers playing against us, and then Ollie Watkins. Okay, at least we keep the ball there. Ward Prowse. Ward Prowse. Oh, I don't like that spot. I don't like that spot. Coutinho. Coutinho, don't lose it. Bailey. 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 Left-footed finesse shot. All black. I am sick of you making saves. Five minutes, Coutinho. Coutinho, can you get his, can you get the man, can you get the man on your fender? Yes, you can. Coutinho drives in, just there's so many bodies there. Can you believe it's Ollie Watkins coming back to haunt us? What kind of storyline is that? Oh, they might. That could have been game over, but we got a chance though. We got a chance. Go, go, go. We got a chance. We got a chance for one more. Get the ball forward. Bailey, just a run. I need you to split those defenders. We ran right into him. Okay. 3-1. Literally the same exact situation as the last one against PSG. 3-1 first leg. Now we got to go away in the next episode and perform the same exact comeback that we did against PSG. Honestly, Atletico Madrid might have been better than PSG, to be honest. Like, they played so much better than I thought. And of course, Ollie Watkins scored against us. It just makes me sick to my stomach. So we made the comeback once. I'm honestly not sure if we can do it again. I'm honestly not sure we face Atletico Madrid in the next episode, which the next episode is probably the season three finale i think we'll we'll try to wrap things up do we send burnley in this episode i i feel like I'm, we're gonna wait to send burnley till the next episode for some reason I'm, I'm not feeling the simon right now in this episode so we're gonna wait and next episode will be the season three finale we got a potential title decider versus liverpool and then we have to come back again three one down i was also thinking uh with this jacob ramsey injury like he was a focal point of the series it sucks and also with man city being down in like ninth place which they currently are they're in there yeah they're in ninth place they're not getting champions league next season that opens up the potential possibility of someone making their return that is jack Grealish. now i feel like it's probably like a 80 percent chance that this does not happen we don't do this but with man city being in ninth and them not getting champions league we pretty much secured champions league this season for next season him coming back to aston villa like not uh not out of the question i mean he's 28 he's only he's still so young 28 85 rated he'd be, he'd be so good in this team still i do feel like it's 80 percent that uh we're not gonna do it but there's still a 20 percent where it's like i mean for season four with jacob ramsey being out so much we can bring in another focal point into season four and then january Ramsey comes back. I don't know. I'm just throwing that out there with Man City being in ninth. I'm just throwing that out there. Let me know what you guys think about that. Although I will say again, more more than more than most likely, it will not happen. I just want to see what you guys think. Oh man, I can't, we got to make another comeback, another amazing comeback, and then in the league we got a four point lead, three point lead actually. But we do face Burnley away, which is tough simming that, and then Liverpool. That will be the title decider, I think. All of that in the next episode, which will be the season three finale. And as always, if you enjoyed this episode, drop a like. I'd appreciate it so much. Um, subscribe. The channel down below if you are not we're chasing 50,000 subs and also of course remember spider-man miles morales episode 3 will be out on the second channel today which the link for that should be in the description after uh, after it is out but that is it for this one i'll see you guys in the next video hope you have a great day